Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel, Connecting with Spirit. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about an aspect of shadow work, um, projections. So this is a really interesting, um, I guess aspect of shadow work i'm just repeating myself but anyway it's mercury retrograde so please excuse me because i find during this time um it's very difficult for me to communicate um my communication skills always go haywire so i find it hard to string a coherent sentence together so please bear with me as we get through this video and as i was saying um, projections is an aspect of shadow work and it's really interesting so it's when you um, disown disconnect reject an aspect of yourself and you project it onto someone else so it's kind of like parts work where part of you is fra fragmented and has become separate from the whole of who it is that you are and it can happen because you can't face this aspect of yourself. As I said, you don't want to see it. So it is a shadowy aspect of yourself, something that you might be unaware of. And you have disconnected from it. You might have suppressed it. You might um, have rejected it, disowned it, all these sorts of things. And you project it onto someone else. And the way that the universe basically brings your attention to these sorts of aspects of shadow work that you have a projection is by triggering you so usually what happens is you'll get emotionally triggered something will happen that really strikes a chord within you let's say and it will be out of proportion to what's happened and that's when you know there's something here that needs to be looked at, that it's trying to get your attention, that there's a message, that there's an aspect of yourself. So this can be true for just healing any aspect of yourself, but also for uh, projections as well. So I'll give you an example. When I was doing my angelic energy healing training, I was talking to this guy and I can't remember what happened, but he started to say about um, how he forgets other people's names. And I got really head up about it. Like I got really triggered by what he was saying because it just seemed like really dismissive and disrespectful in my, in my mind is what I said. I was like, oh, he's so disrespectful for forgetting other people's names. And I was kind of like rah, 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 going on a bit of a tirade <laughs> in my mind about this. I didn't even know the guy. It was just like five minute conversation or whatever. And I just got really triggered and started to go off on one in my mind and it was then that I kind of took a step back and was like wait a second <laughs> this is in this my reaction my emotional reaction is entirely out of proportion to what has actually happened I think there must be something here that I need to look at so I sat with it and I was like well what's going on like why am I so triggered what is happening here and I heard that it was a projection um, and what was really was going on was that I had projected a part of myself onto him because in actual fact I find it really difficult to remember people's names um, it's kind of an Achilles heel of mine it's almost like when someone says their name it just automatically flies out of my mind and I can't remember it so I find it really difficult to um, remember people's names and in actual fact, the person that I felt that was disrespectful was me, not him. It was actually me that I felt this about myself, that when I forgot someone's name, that I thought I was being disrespectful when I forgot it. And for whatever reason, I hadn't acknowledged this within myself and I had projected it onto him and the universe as it is, as it tries to help you heal yourself, brought this to my attention through this conversation and through triggering me so I was able to reclaim that aspect of myself and I like to do like a hopo opono which is the Hawaiian prayer um, I'm sorry please forgive me I love you thank you and just kind of bring that aspect back within myself acknowledging it so that's how I kind of um, heal a projection whenever I um, encounter one 
is I just identify what's going on, the emotions around it, and then I like to visualize kind of taking that part aspect back of my back within myself and placing it within my heart, and then I'll do the ho Ho Pono prayer, and that usually does the trick um, because I'm reclaiming that part of myself that I have disconnected from that I was unable to acknowledge um, that I rejected whatever the case may be because I just couldn't face that part of myself so that is pretty much an example of what a projection is just wanted to bring it to your awareness because it is an aspect of shadow work and it's really important to know <laughs> that this is a thing um, it's parts work it's all part of healing um, uh, let me know if you have any experience of projections um, in the comments below if you feel like sharing or what you do to heal yourself I'd love to know um, and other than that I think that's all I wanted to say on this topic let me know if you find it interesting uh, thank you so much again for being here for tuning in until next time take care bye bye Thank you.